Okay, so I have my Raspberry Pi here, and I have my um, my laptop up here, and I have my Raspberry Pi, so it's streaming over the um, network here, and I just want you to see how fast this is. I don't have a stopwatch or anything because my phone is my stopwatch, but see, you can see the movement on the TV match nearly identical with it's very fast it's only like a few millisecond delay which is amazing now the way I did this was trying to find my keyboard okay so um, you can't see the command there, but, um, what I did was I set the Raspberry Pi's video to 512 pixels by 512 pixels, and I made it 15 frames per second. I don't think, if I zoom in on it, you'll be able to see that. Oh, you can see it quite nicely. So that's the command I have right there, the lowest one. Um... So that was on, that was what was just running. I was doing 15 frames per second on that one. Now if we move over to the computer, to the laptop here, what I'm running here is I'm using mPlayer, and I'm telling it to run at 24 frames per second. And I only put the cache at 512 right there, so I'm not sure why this works so well, but if you make the frames per second on the Raspberry Pi lower than the frames per second on yours, your computer, it'll just blow through the frames really fast for some reason. I don't know why. And it's really good. It hasn't lagged at all for me. And it will catch up with, if it starts lagging, it'll catch up again with what it was before. So that's um, pretty cool. So, like, if it lags, it goes like three seconds behind or something, eventually it'll catch back up to real time. And yeah, I've been trying to do this all day and I'm really happy that I just got it. So there you go.